Welcome, welcome to Hangman Tarot. We're going to get started here with our celebrity tarot card reading. We're going to get into Jay-Z's reading. So we're going to find out all that we need to know about Jay-Z. As soon as you hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot, go ahead and share, like, and follow if you want to spread the word about Hangman Tarot and getting all of your upcoming tarot readings. Now come on. I'm trying to debate whether or not I need to move this because it's so shaky. It's very annoying. Okay. Anyway, I'll just try to not bump the desk. We'll see how well that goes because I don't know if it's going to be able to do it. I think I should just switch it. It's whatever. Okay. Anyway, so Jay-Z was born. We're going to get into all of the information about Jay-Z. And then we're going to get into his astrology, of course. And then um, we'll get into the tarot card reading. So he was born in New York, New York, the United States. He was born December 4th, 1969 at 12 p.m. A little bit about Sean Corey Carter, in which he was born, named by. But he's also known by being Jay-Z, of course. Of course. And Beyonce's husband. Uh, she's... <laughs> He is an American rapper, record producer, and entrepreneur. He is one of the most financially successful hip-hop hip -hop artists and entrepreneurs in America. In 2012, Forbes estimated Carter's net worth at $500 million. They do have a daughter named Blue Ivy Carter, born January 7, 2012. And they don't state the other kids that were born. What did we, we get? Twins? They have twins, right? Okay. So, basically, here, I think I'm going to have to move it. It's just going to shake. It's just going to continue shaking. Okay, so, he is a Sagittarius. Libra moon sign. All right, let's get into this reading. I just got on, so just give me, give me a minute here to get it, get it together, get it together. I'm trying to get it together. There's a blizzard. And I got stuck in the snow last night. And it snowed even more again today. It's just rubs me the wrong way. Okay. Don't get me wrong. I love winter, but I really feel like not everybody gets as much snow as us. And that's fine. That's fine. I just think that like we should all be mandated trucks with four wheel drive, especially if we live in the Antarctica. You know what I mean? That's how I feel on the situation. That's just where I'm at on it. Okay. So we're going to get into a general read. I just want to find out what's going on with Jay-Z as far as Oracle reading also. So just getting into a nice little current energy and then we'll get into his tarot. Yeah. So I think if anybody wants to talk to, um, somebody about that i think that that's something that could should and could be set up i think everybody should be uh, mandated or given a, a four-wheel drive pickup when you move to when you move to this state here wyoming okay i think it would be a beautiful thing i think that it makes sense i mean you don't live in a like you know you can't go to alaska right without a plane so it's kind of the same thing it's not the same thing at all but that's okay it literally, you should have chains and a, a vehicle that is a truck or something four wheel drive. No, let's just, we're, we're going to keep it a truck. Okay. Because I, that's just how I feel about it. If you live in Wyoming and you move here, you should be given a truck and mittens. Okay. Really fucking like rad mittens, like way cooler than you've ever seen in your life. Okay. Get into this reading. Like, come on lady. Nobody cares about the snow. Everybody cares about the snow. Hmm. So we do have some truths that are being told. And it's about time. Whatever this connection is, whatever the where the, wherever the truth is coming from. It is about time. The connection, the truth, the overall openness of it, and just allowing things to kind of flow through the way that they should. This is something that is definitely he's ready for. Um, anything kind of influencing this would be a collaboration. So he's going to have to maybe be collaborating with somebody. And this could have all to do with work. It could have something to do with just like in his family in general. And I think it's a really wise kind of collaboration. So I think it, I think it's full of work here. I think it's definitely 
I'm talking, I'm talking and feeling jobs here and it's safe and it's supported. So this is a really nice um, influence. So anything safe and supported, any work that is being done, that is all about time and it is all about connection and it is all about sharing every fucking ounce of truth, even if it's ugly. The uglier, the better, I always say. Honestly, like if I were to relive my life, I would be going and approaching friendships um, connections, uh, jobs, all of it. I would give them the ugliest part of me. I used to think that I did, but I, I didn't. And it, I mean, ugly and according to it's whatever perspective perspective or your point of view, how, how ugly something is or how intense or, you know, difficult something might be or how triggering it would be to know that about somebody, which I think is a joke, but that's just my thoughts on it. Anyway. So the only thing that I'm seeing as far as the issue here is just kind of which way to go. So I think there's the weight of the option and then there's making the decision. And I feel like whatever the partner is here, it's a quality partner. And that's just indicating a confirmation that, yeah, go ahead and co-create, especially if there's some honesty being had there. So which which the situation, the only situation would be the fact that he doesn't really know which way to go with it. So whatever, whatever. Let's find out more about the situation. Strength reverse, got the double in reverse. Let's see. It's a definitely a breakthrough, but there was still deception, and it was it was clouding the freedom of this connection. It was clouding the you know any overall tension and worry would have been because there was deception here within and around this relationship. So instead of being able to relax in this option, it, it's very tense. And that's why um, he's weighing, it's weighing heavy on his heart because he's like, I don't know which one to choose and letting go of any, any negative, you know, connected, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think of the word, sorry, attachments to the relationship from the past. So there must've been some sort of a past here. And that's just what I'm getting from it. But he's obsessed with like this. He's obsessed with, you know, getting this to a point of where they can do that. That That's very much an obsession. Um, anything kind of influencing again around that is the, the lack of self-control here or the self-doubt is very surprising to me because it's Jay-Z. I mean, okay, I'm not going to lie, but like because Beyonce is so like badass, like I think that maybe Jay-Z would have to be a certain amount of like calm and lukewarm. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, anyway, so, so, so I guess I believe, I guess I believe it, but the movement, the clarity, the power that comes from, you know, making this choice and anything influencing this is just wanting to dominate the situation, wanting to be able to have the strength to, you know, overturn where these two have been. So this could be a Leo or a Capricorn, or it could be an Aries or a fire sign. Yeah, it's somebody who is very stable. They're very secure. They're very authoritative. Um, they're the they're they're the emperor energy. So that's everything underneath here, and they have everything under control normally. So I feel like any kind of father figure or somebody who might even be older than him that he's collaborating with, this is something he wants to be able to be like. I don't lack self control here. I have a ton of you know self confidence. I don't have any doubts in my mind here. I want to dominate the situation, and it's not in like a creepy dominant. It's just like, I want to be a leader too in this position. He doesn't want, you know, this emperor energy, whoever this person is to come in and just like kind of take over and, you know, be that support, be that completion to the project. He wants to be a part of it. He wants to be the lead. So whatever, more power to him. Anything going on in the past that is attached to this? Ace of Wands, Six of Wands up, Ten of Cups up. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so this is somebody, an OG, kind of like an original. So it was just, you know, a fresh start. Let's start brand new. Let's keep going. Let's add to this. Let's get into some adventure. Let's have a little bit of newness. There's nothing wrong with that. And that was definitely something, you know, that had started in the very beginning in the past. That is something that was definitely a part of the vision. Um, creatively, they were attached in the past also. So whoever that person could be, it could even be Beyonce. I mean, for all that we know, because she has that masculine energy and it doesn't mean it's a man energy. It just means that it's an energy of, you know, being a boss, you know, being a stable leader, you know, kind of in control all the time, but in a really healthy manner, not like a creepy, scary, power, hungry, lizard eating vibe. 
Um, so anything rooted underneath this relationship in the past was that there was some sort of disconnect. There was some sort of lack of harmony here for sure. Okay. And I feel like there was no support and there was even a fear of like keeping this collaboration. So whenever they were together, there was tensions between the two of them and things were very uncertain as far as like kind of this commitment that they were making. So, and one of them could have been a little bit more fearful of this relationship or of this, of this connection than the other. Yeah. By the end of it though, he accepted it for what it was and it could have turned into like a marriage of business it could have turned into a marriage of passion a marriage to beyonce um again i'm not quite sure what her sign is at the moment but again it could be this could be a fire sign water sign aries in specific leo in specific so just really wanting to make sure that this relationship no matter what was next for it would have potential and that's kind of where this was going and just really wanting this to be fortunate and happy and, you know, in a really good space or good place for the growth of it. So anything going on as far as upcoming here for Jay-Z? Knight of Swords in this situation or currently with this person going into the future, moving in towards February of the next month. Knight of Swords up. We've got our Five of Swords up. Cage of Pentacles, darling. And that is up. I got that Dancing Queen song in my head and I almost just started singing it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. So a little bit unfocused upcoming. And again, this is all to do with that being held back type of vibe because he didn't know if he wanted to make a choice. So he is frustrated here in the upcoming month and it is holding him back, quite honestly. And it puts him in a really restless position. Anything influencing this is just the whole saying sorry business, okay? So Five of Swords upright is just indicating to me that, yeah, this is still raw though, okay? This is not necessarily a fight, but it's like, it feels like there was a fight here and it's, you know, the reward's not as big as it should be by the ending of it. So saying sorry and just feeling like you're not really winning here has a lot to do with this, um, this whole picture, this whole painted issue that is not being seen completely overall and wasn't. Um, communication would be here. There's definitely some sort of a communication. So um, I think by the ending of it, there's going to be some tangible trusting relationship by the end of it and by the end of the month or moving into the next month. So I think any rewards for the effort or, you know, moving into something of abundance and just acting, you know, as he does all the time. This is just what he does. He's reliable. He's secure. He's safe. He's financially good to go. Management, business-wise, is everything's good there. So I think something very tangible and abundant is on its way. And the rewards for this whole thing will be enormous. So it'll be a lot bigger than he kind of was thinking in the beginning of stuff. So kind of that burnt out feeling, just moving out of that month and getting away from that, hopefully. So, okay. I'm going to get out of here. Please hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot if you would. Please and thank you. Go ahead, share, like, and follow on your social media. I'm going to have you go check out in my details all of my social media. You can get a hold of me there. You can also leave a comment in the comment area, of course. My name is Jordan, and I am Hangman Tarot. If I haven't met you, it was lovely to meet you. I'll see you for your next celebrity reading. See you later.